one of the uh, projects I started 13 years ago it was a website similar to Reddit, but in Persian. Of course, it's been blocked in Iran almost from the beginning. What can we do for people who are trying to reach to these websites that are blocked? Can we bypass internet infrastructure altogether? That's how a Tushar knapsack idea was created. So we are working on uh, our satellite content delivery technology. This is an innovative technology that helps people who have limited internet access or they live in countries with internet censorship receive content and totally bypass internet infrastructure and use their satellite TV receivers to receive content. What we did was we figured out a way to embed files within an MPEG stream so the, the images that are sent to the TV actually contain files. Basically, they are just sitting at home, they're watching satellite TV and they're flipping through channels and they wonder what kind of channel is this because this is just showing slides and there's no video, there is no nothing. This is broadcasting data. On the left side, you see the size of the package that being sent that day. So for example, here, the size of the package is 0.3 gigabyte. And on the top of that, you could see duration. So that shows how long it takes to download that package. Of course, this is not the entire internet. It's, a, it's just a part of it that we package on a daily basis and we broadcast it over satellite. We take our uh, flash drive and plug it into the laptop or Android phone to get the content extracted. There's, there are news items, there are uh, funny videos, there is a fact-checking website in Persian. It contains music, it contains PDF files, it contains software that was never sent, it, it includes TED Talks. They can browse this as if they were online. We have a WhatsApp, we have Telegram channel, we have email. So they constantly email us and asking us for new type of content. We get messages, for example, one message we had from a rural place. The person said, like, I walked uh, uh, 15 uh, kilometers to get to this, like, a small town because that's where he had uh, internet access from a cafe to send us a message. So that kind of, like, just the messages motivates us so much. The driving motivation behind it for Iran was getting Iran censorship. But actually, once we launched the project in Iran, we realized that a lot of people who are using this are not necessarily using it to get Iran censorship. They are looking for a, having the type of content that they don't normally see on the internet, or also just a they, they were poor, they didn't have enough money to pay for bandwidth, so we were helping them by providing a free access to just download large files, large video files. But as we move to other countries, uh, the focus is mostly actually educational content and the lack of uh, internet access. Yo hice el primer contacto con, con MECDI. El, el primer día que yo tuve acceso a la tecnología, eh, para mí fue, fue una experiencia muy grata. La razón es que yo escaneo su satélite, encontré su señal, eh, puedo ver le, las instrucciones, las llevo a cabo eh, y tres horas después, en base a una señal de video, eh, lo convierto en un archivo de texto, un archivo de audio y un video. 
eso realmente pues implosionó mi, mi cabeza, hizo que estallara y, y vi mucho potencial, vi mucho potencial en la, en la tecnología, eh, el éxito que habían tenido en Irán, todo lo que había detrás y, y, y dije, esto tiene que conocerlo la, la, la población, eh, tenemos que llegar a esas zonas que necesitan, necesitan esto, es una tecnología fantástica, eh, el, el desarrollo ya está hecho, ya está probado. 168, el sol y la luna aparentan tener más o menos el mismo tamaño en el cielo, aunque eso es solo gracias a la coincidencia de que... Eh, incluimos un programa oficial, una iniciativa por parte del, del gobierno federal eh, en materia educativa. Es importante que el acceso a esta plataforma que se aprende 2.0 está disponible en internet. Eh, pero aquí, al menos en, en, en Álvaro Obregón, o en Cuchitán, Oaxaca, los chicos nunca han tenido internet. Entonces, ¿cómo va a ser posible que ellos accedan a, a este contenido? Es donde entramos nosotros. En este laboratorio de cómputo, pues los chicos vienen a, a aprender un poco de informática. Eh, contamos con 12 computadoras aproximadamente. La estación de contenido es este pequeño ordenador, el cual pues, se encarga de almacenar y, y compartir el contenido eh, que hemos recopilado para los chicos, todo el contenido académico. Trabaja en conjunto con una antena de banda KU y un pequeño dispositivo Wi-Fi que sirve para que los chicos puedan conectarse desde su smartphone, desde su tablet. Canaspac, canapsac, ¿no? Naxpac. <risa> Las pac. Entonces, pues nos, eso ya nos dio un aliciente, por lo menos, ¿no? Porque precisamente lo que nosotros queríamos era algo donde los muchachos consultaran, pero consultaran algo que sí valiera la pena, algo documental, algo histórico, algo. No, no meterse a internet nada más por el simple hecho de ir a chatear, ir a. ¿no? Sino que más bien que nos sirva para lo, la cuestión educativa. Pues. Y pues esto nos cayó como. En, pues del cielo, ¿no? I'm hoping that in um, in, it, in three years from now we can bring the technology that we build to everywhere in the world, help people to access whatever they need, regardless of their how much money they have, regardless of where they live, and uh, be able to find what they need to learn.